Heavy rain, strong winds have been lashing Australia's eastern coast and housing properties on the beaches stand at the risk of being swept away. It's a region that is already threatened by soil erosion. With climate change aggravating the crisis, things might just go from bad to worse. Our next report gets you more details. Australia's stunning eastern coast is in the grips of driving rains, high winds and monster swells, especially in the seaside town of Wamberal, north of Sydney. Wamberal has seen new warnings for gale force winds and rain over the last 48 hours, and homes perched precariously on the beach are under the threat of being swept away. It's a real tragedy and I know people who are doing it a lot worse than I am on this strip um, and it's tragic, it's really sad, it's unnecessary. Around 40 seafront properties in the area have been damaged by successive storms over the last month. While many residents have been evacuated from the area, a few have chosen to stay back. The seaside town of Wamberal has been threatened by soil erosion for a long time. It has witnessed houses being destroyed since the 1970s. And as recently as 2016, when huge swathes of beachfront was washed away from their properties. If you look at the aerial footage, these houses sit on top of a dune, a crumbling dune. If the dune goes, the houses and all the infrastructure of the suburb will go behind it. Climate change is making matters worse in Wamberol. It has increased the frequency and severity of the storms, so much so that the beach might not be able to recover completely from the impact. The Australian government says around 39,000 properties on the country's shorelines are facing the risk of being destroyed by soil erosion. And the latest spell of storm and rains has left the locals of Wamberal shaken. We don't want the situation where living rooms are the front line of defence for a suburb. It's not fair, it's not right. Locals in Wamberal say they have been trying to get the authorities to fix the problem for over three decades now. But it's only now that they're seeing emergency crews arriving on the scene to save the properties by dumping sandbags and tons of rock. We have been bringing this matter up with council for the best part of 30 years through various organisations, through various people, after every storm, and it's always the same deafening silence. It's a race against time to save the town of Wamberal, as the storm is expected to strengthen further in the coming days. We've still got 18 homes evacuated and people out of those homes, and we are still unclear as to the safety. There's homes to the south of us on Pacific Street, there's homes to the north of us on Calais Road, which didn't get hit in this storm, but they could in the future. Plans have been in the works to erect a protective structure in Wamberal. A Sydney-based company was contracted for it in the month of May, but the whole process needs to be fast-tracked considering the dire situation at hand. Bureau Report, Weon, Wilders.